The Brass Pistol. You either think it's good or absolute rubbish. At first I thought it was pretty trash too, but I'm here today to speak out against the sea of criticism, to tell you why the Brass Pistol is pretty underrated. First, let's have a quick stat read, shall we? It has a damage of 30, a reload time of 8.6 seconds, 5 pellets, 1 penetration per pellet, and a max distance of 350. You also go a tad bit slower while reloading, and you get a little kicked back with the fire. This thing is good for its high spread and pellet count, but is very, very weak. Each pellet does 30 damage, which is kind of good considering that there are a total of 5 pellets that are fired out of it. Heck, you can kill a zapper with a decently aimed headshot at close range. And only sometimes. Oh yeah, the range on this thing absolutely sucks. Sure, it has a max distance that's the same as the flintlock pistol, which is more than the double barrel pistol has. But the high spread makes it near impossible to even reach that. The higher waves and endless also make the damage almost pitiful, like using the blunderbuss on higher waves, another reason why the knock gun is better. Now, for the more crowded maps, aka anything but the finales of Catacombs and Sand, this thing is pretty good. Is there a horde of zombies all piled in one corner? Kabam! No more zombies! Is Zapper nearby? Kabam! No more Zapper- Wait, no- No! Now, this thing is inconsistent. One second you are annihilating hordes, and the next you go, I just shot into a horde of 5,000 zombies and only two died. But there is one way that you can make using it somewhat good. Not using it. Okay, okay, let me explain. So you've got a big horde incoming. You know some of them are grouped up together. You shoot them, kill, I don't know, three to eight of them, and then you swing to your heart's content with your good old officer's saber. Then maybe you'll get enough kills with the saber that you'll do an officer's charge, or enough zombies are gone that you'll have enough time to reload. Rinse and repeat, now you have a lot of kills. This is probably the most important strategy to use while donning the brass pistol, because while your gun is inconsistent, your saber is very consistent. Next up, bombers. Sure, the gun is inaccurate, inconsistent, has too high of a spread, and only does 30 damage per pellet, but a bomber's health is 20. Even if a bomber is, say, at about medium distance, you ain't hitting any bombers at long range, pal, then one lucky pellet is all that's needed for him to explode. You may get some other zombies nearby, too. Maybe if you can't kill a zapper at that range, then you just kill a bomber that's near it. Also, I didn't really know where to put this, but can we just take a moment to appreciate the new regiments and remastered Vardo? Good okay. The brass pistol is a weapon that you either think is pretty good because of its high spread and, uh, uh, more gun. Or you think it is absolute trash that you wouldn't even make your worst enemy use. Or you think it's alright. Like me. I think it's alright. I can see how someone who likes officers and blunderbuss would find a hybrid of the two very nice. And I do like this combo. Overall, the brass pistol is not my favorite weapon, but with the right tactics and understanding, then it's a solid 7 out of 10 weapon. A couple of these matches that I've used as background footage were done with a few members of my Discord server. I know I've been advertising a lot recently, but it is a lot of fun when we're able to find a public server and then it instantly gets full of members from the Discord server. But if you don't want to join, then maybe consider subscribing or hitting the like button. My channel has grown a lot recently, and I think we can keep up this pace and maybe get to 2,000 subscribers by the end of the month. So like and subscribe, and maybe leave a comment if you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.